love is sharing okwagala kuba kugabana love is giving okwagala kuba kugaba once you want to develop say i want to be blessed learn how to give yiga engeri yokugaba obo kuwayo learn how to share yiga engeri yokugaba namu ne banno If you are a wise man, you must share your wisdom with others. You must give that wisdom to others. That is how you be useful. And that is how you become popular. Others will be helped only when you and how you are sharing your test management. Abalala bajja kuyambibwa mu ngeri emu yokka. Mu ngeri ki joga banana bo engeri je wayinza mu je wasobola mu ekigezo kyo. For God so loved the world. Katonda we yagale nsi. He gave Yawayo is best. So those who want to be popular. Look at the nature of God. Those who want to be blessed. Look at the nature of God. Love is simply giving. Heaven and Father in Christ Jesus. Chitafali mugulu mu Kristo Yesu. Lord we give thanks to your holy name. Mukama twebaze erinyali ettukuvu. Thanks for your love. Tukwebaze olokwagala ko. Your truth. Amazima go. And your kindness. Nokusasira ko. We pray all in Jesus. Byona tulisabye mu linyeri ya Yesu. Thank you for it. Mutulembe ko byamwe. Tell your neighbor good morning. Gamba mulirani wawo amachama lunji. Good morning. Tell him I love you. Our simple topic today will take us to John 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So this will take us to our topic. Love is sharing. Love is giving. There is completely nothing that makes people loved. Teri chintu chona chisoboze sabantu kuagalibwa than sharing. O kujako kugabana than giving. Nothing. Tewali which will make people popular. Tewali chintu china soboze sabantu kumanyika. Loved. There is nothing other than that. This is a popular musician. He is sharing his talent with others. That is why he is popular. There is nothing which will make you multiply. There is nothing which will make you develop. Other than loving and sharing what you have. 
okujjako okwagalana no kugabana ne banno ekyo cholina and love is simply giving atera mungere nyango okwagala kuba kugaba for God so loved the world katonda we yagale nsi he gave yawayo his best ekimusingira obulungi but the only issue now here na yenso nga eri ku meza kati people erinti abantu somewhere awantu awamu they believe bakkiriza they should receive abantu bakkiriza anti batekwa kufuna bufunyi they shouldn't give te batekedwa kuwayo oba kugaba so these people will never develop in whatever they are doing kale no abantu bano te bali kulakulana mu bulicho nache bakola once you want to develop say i want to be blessed learn how to give yiga engeri yo kugaba obo kuwayo learn how to share yiga engeri yo kugaba namu ne banno the best of yours e chicho cho singira dalo kwagala chisiku you to the top best echo chija kukulakulanya okutusa ku ntiko esingo obulunji now we are seated here kakano tutudde wano and pastor kakande is here era pastor kakanda ali wano to do what kukola chi to see you kukula ba kukutunulira to greet you kukula musako That's what brought you here. Checha kulese wano. I've come to see Pastor Kakande. Hanzi se kulaba Pastor Kakande nedda. He is here to share with you. Ali wano kugabana nawe. His best. Echimusingira obulunji. What he loves most. Chasingo kwagala. What he believes most. That is why he's here. Yes, What he uses most. What he relies on. If you are a wise man, you must Share your wisdom with others. Otekwa kugabana amagezi go na abalala. You must give that wisdom to others. Amagezi ago goli no tekwa okugawa abalala. That is how you be useful. Bwacho bono bero wo mugaso. And that is how you become popular. Era bwacho bono manyika. the people have known kakande ministries abantu bategedde obuweleza bwa kakande by people sharing their testimonies ngabantu bano bagabana nabalala obujulizi bwabwe how they managed their tests engeri je basobola ebigezo byabwe testimon simply means testimony ment ekigambo kino testimony kitegeza engeri omuntu ja sobodde mu ekigezo kye I want to share my testimony. Jakala kugabana na mu obujulizi bwange. The proof that I managed the test. Eh chikaka santi na sobola ekigezo kyange. Na chiyita. You are uh, here you are prayed for? Oli wano no sabirwa. You go back you are seated there. No dayo ngo tuddeyo. You cannot share with the people how you managed your test. To sobola kugabana na bantu engeri je wasobola mu ekigezo kyo. And you want another power so ngato yagala amanya amalala to manage another test okusobola ekigeze ekirala it cannot happen te kisoboka after paul and silas paul and silas ngabamaze after them managing their test ngabamaze okusobola ekigezo kyabwe they shared with the prison warder bagabana no mukumi we komera how they manage their testimony engeri je ba yinzamu engeri je ba sobolamu ekigezo kyabwe the prison warder asked omukumi we komera na abuza basebo what should i do 
to take this power this authority which can manage such a test they said believe the Lord Jesus Christ you will be saved with your house he said hey baptize me even have you been to Jesus for the cleansing blood? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully mm -hmm. trusting in His grace? Mm -hmm. Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? 1625 Acts of Apostles. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone whose chain were loosed. In this world, nowhere do people live without tests. Everywhere. We are as if we are in a class. Because we are going somewhere. This world is not our home. Now, Paul and Silas had the, their test. Immediately after their test, here the prison warder get his test. Verse 27. Paul and Silas have finished theirs. Now, the, and the keeper of the prison awaking from sleep and seeing the prison door was open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But 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 poked with a loud voice saying, do yourself no harm for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in and fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. They have just finished their test. But here, the prison warder who was guarding them, who could kick them, who could shout yeah. upon yeah. them. Now he has his test. Hey! <sighs> if they have run away, <laughs> my bosses are going to kill me. Let me just kill myself. Nobody in this world. Can go free without a test. Asobolo kutambula, asobolo kugenda mirembe ngataina chigezo. No one in this world. Tell him to yenda munsi muno. So long as you are human being. Kasto bangoli muntu. You never go free. Toli genda mirembe. And you never be free. Bera toli bera watembe. Without a test. Ah, watali chigezo. And after this test, another test must appear. God created us with his love and armed us with his facilities. But we cannot know God without testing him. I'm saved. I'm Testaments come. 
to prove what you are saying. You come here on Sunday and sit comfortably. Listen to the message. Monday morning, what you learned, a test must come. That is the good student. Every week, in a class, they give you tests before you reach the exam. That is the good school. And after the term, they are given exams. Tests and exams are different. And this helps you, a student, to be promoted from one class to another class. Otherwise, you never go from a class to another class. You hate the test. It means you are not studying. So what you are learning today, what you are studying today, you must get to your tests Monday to Saturday. So be attentive. Because this are the questions. They will ask you questions from what you are learning now. There's nobody God doesn't love. People seated here. They know what Satan can do. They know what demons do. Because they have been there for ages. They proved that that demon, that witchcraft, cannot work for them. That is why they are seated here. To see how God can work for them. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. Looking for Banonia, Banonia Katonda, and how best he can do for them. Nangerich and Nunga, and we didn't know just over Lokchiba Kurera because we were created every day to move forward. Kubanga Twatondewa, Buruna to Tambulanga to Genda Maso. Every day you are adding on another day. Compiling it to a year. Every day you are losing your time. Don't waste time in things which don't work for you. Tell your neighbor, do not waste time in things that do not work for you. Don't waste time. Each day. You are losing okay, your time. time will come. You will be asked to give an account. You will be asked how much you know God. Who is God? Katonda <laughs> Yani. We heard about him. <laughs> People 
People will go to heaven not because they heard about God. I heard about him. People who go to heaven, they are those who have proved God. I'm strong when I am on your shoulder. Raise me up to more than I can be. As you are using his legs, God's legs. God's eyes. The same time. He wants to go with you. Oh, God because you don't know where you're going. Prove that you don't know your tomorrow. How do you say you know where you're going? And you don't know your tomorrow. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. But he knows. Hallelujah. Amen. So those who want to be popular. Look at the nature of God. Those who want to be blessed. Look at the nature of God. Why we love God? I don't know. Where he got all our legs. Somebody can tell me that he got our legs, our hands from somewhere. He took time. Looking for Kakande's legs. The same time your legs. The same time the legs of the lion. The same time the legs of the gila. The same time looking for the legs of the chicken. Balancing it, how it will fly, how it will walk. Balancing how it where did he get your hair? Where did he get your nails? God is rich. Don't joke with him. Say, oh God. Just give us the grace. Have mercy upon us. We love you. Give us a way. That was no more. In Jesus' name. You only want two acres. I doubt whether God will do that for you. And he has the whole world. He has the whole world. He has the whole world. Why don't we ask Father who owns the whole world? Who has it in his hands? It is my prayer today that our God, the Father who owns and has the the whole world in his hands. May dash each one of you a plot of his desire. Father, give them a plot of their desire. Father, give them a land 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 of their desire. In Jesus' holy name. Who built Mount Kilimanjaro? Cannot give you wisdom to build your house. Sometimes we despise God. By leveling him to 
a human being. May God forgive us. Oh Lord Jesus, forgive us. We only need to know you. In Jesus, we pray. In Jesus, we pray. In Jesus, we pray. When you are praying, compare God. First look at his greatness. Pray to him from what you are sure of. Say, God of wisdom. Give me wisdom. Knowledge. Understanding. Business. My profession. My office. In a godly way. Look at the flies which do not make sense to many. They don't have maternity. <laughs> but uh, Oh God, give us the grace. They multiply day and night. Ask him to give you the grace. He has put on the flies to multiply such a way. Let him put it on your business. Hallelujah! That you sleep, you wake up. Eh? Something. Say, Lord Jesus, we are here to ask from you a new wisdom, a new knowledge, a new understanding of your way. In Jesus' name. I'm saved, I'm saved is not yet over and it is not enough. And it will not help others. Others will be helped only when you and how you are sharing your test management. Brethren, the gospel should go far. Far than that. I'm saying, I'm born again. We should look at God. Who is God? His ability, his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. Before we leave to meet him, our day to day tests, he gives us, we should ask him. Ask him how to do them. Tu te kwa kumu saba katunda wa fimbo tu bikole tu tia. Because without you testing him, kubenga gubu tamu gezesa. You no know him. Tajja kumu manya. What we have. Chetuli na. A simple tools. Ebi mungere nyango bi ebi kuzesewa. But we need the wisdom. How to use them. We need the ability. In order to use them. He wants to work with us. He wants to work with us. And share with us. His victory. How will you say? Now, this is a banana. You eat. Yeah. You eat. Yeah. 
now. Kakati. How sweet is that banana? I don't know. Because is it so those who have never used the God, they don't know God. Those who have never applied God in their tests, they don't know God. That is what made David after receiving the anointing. That is what made him go with just sticks. And made Goliath wonder. Before he died. Say, oh Jesus, give me the grace to know you and your way. In all our tests, what do you fear? is what you are asking for. Father, I want you to give me 10 trailers. But the process is what you are fearing now. There is no test which can come to you without victory and reward. With the God every test we undergo, there stands a reward. It is already prepared over there. You are fearing for no good reason. I'm reading 1726 of 1 Samuel. Then David spoke to the men who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who kills this first time and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised first time that he should defy the armies of the living God? What shall be given? A person who will kill, who will fight this first thing. He is not even circumcised because he has come to defy the armies of the living God. What shall be given to a man who cast out this poverty from our family? Because this demon, it has come to defy the creatures of God. Our family. Family We are Christians. But our brother is mad. Oh God. Who cast out this demon? and remove the reproach from our clan, from our family. When Goliath appeared, all the armies of Israel ran away, having forgotten how powerful is their God who removed them from Egypt. Said, Jesus, forgive us. Give us the wisdom. How to confront this Goliath-like situation. 
I'm reading 1 Samuel 17. Verse 4. And a champion went out from the camp of the Philistine named Goliath from Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a bronze helmet on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze, and he had a bronze of armor on his legs, and a bronze of javelin between his shoulders. Now the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his iron spear head weighed 600 shekels. Then he stood and cried out to the armies of Israel and said to them, why have you come out to line up for battle? Am I not a feast time, and you are the servants of Saul? Choose a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and servers. And the feast time said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give a man that we might fight together. Then Saul so, and all the Israel had these words of the first time. They were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now we can go to verse 22. And David left his supplies in the hand of the supply keeper, ran to the army and came and greeted his brothers. Then as he talked with them. There was the champion, the first time of God, Goliath by name, coming up from the armies of the first time, and he spoke according to the same words. So David had them, and all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were dreadfully afraid. So the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. And it shall be that the man who kills him, the king will enrich him with great riches, will give him his daughter and give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. He who killed Goliath will be enriched. Not paying taxes will marry even the king's daughter. There was a reward set. There is a reward set. This test is not a curse before you. It is not a punishment. God is not intending to punish you. He gave you the hands, the legs, and everything. This time he said he wants to go with you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to work with you. So that you may test. You may know going with God. What does it mean going with God? Working with God, what does it mean? How powerful is my God? How wise is my God? But a wisdom of God you have never tested. A wisdom of God you have never gone with. How will you praise him? How will you love him? You only love him by him sharing with you. He wants to go with you. You two, two of you, two of you, that you may get victory, two of you. He wants you to experience what he is. In whatever you are doing, we must know his power by using his power. <coughs> Verse 31, 17, 31, 1 Samuel. Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and they sent for him. 
Then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with his first time. And Saul said to David, you are not able to go against this first time to fight with him, for you are a youth and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servants you to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, the Lord who delivered me, listen this, the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he would deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. Remember that time it was so who was the king? to fight for his people. A king who cannot fight for his people is not what they who cannot defend his people that is not a king. So, so closed David with his armor and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also closed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. He removed Saul. So removed his garments of king. His kingdom garment. And he put it on. David. Then it means David is the king. The moment he did that, what happened after? David became a king in the place of Saul. Because he couldn't defend his people. What a loss you are practicing. Eh, hey, Oh Lord, this is too much for me. Oh, this is too much for me. Oh, this is too much for me. You are the man at home. The wife is asking for money. Don't bother me. <coughs> Don't bother me with the money. And your husband? Say, oh Lord Jesus. I am a man. Say, Give me the power to manage to get money. The Lord Jesus, give me the grace and the power to manage in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you power, wisdom, knowledge, understanding to manage whatever you are doing. He removed his garment of kingship. And he gave it to a man, a person who could manage to defend his people. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm here to manage. Whatever the condition, give me the grace. Give me the power. I want you today to stand in the position. Give me the 
Don't be overwhelmed with any situation. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm in the position. Give me the grace to stand as a believer. And I believe in Jesus that is power. There's wisdom. There's knowledge. There's understanding. All the time, I will rely upon Jesus. You want to abandon your post? He knew who he was, David. That is why he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall no one. Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Then we go to verse 4. Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Goliath, Goliath was not an enemy. He was a shadow of death. In him, there was no death. Because he couldn't kill. And he was not able to kill. David. Daudi. Whatever is before you, listen to me. Whatever you are calling problem, it is only a shadow of death. It cannot kill you. It cannot kill you. But it draws you to a fix. To ask. To look for. Who is greater? Who has the power? Who is superior? This is the only way we can look for God. When we are confronted with the shadows of death, it may look poverty, but it is a shadow of poverty. Just next to you, there stands a man, Jesus, saying, if you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. But when you look at the shadow of poverty, <coughs> you forget him. So you are ignoring him. His love his suffering, you ignore it and you say, I love God. Besides, you stand a man who say, I help you. Go with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. I love you. You were brought here as David to go with God. To go with God and remove the reproach from your family. Say, so I'm here as David. That is why I'm here. That is why God brought me here. To fight like David. To act like David. And remove a reproach from my family. Jesus, I'm here. 
Kakanda is singing. Kakanda imba. Lord Jesus. Mukama wange Yesu. You raised me up. Wanyi musa waguru. To stand on the mountain. Oh, kuyimi ira waguru kulu sozi. Why should I worry when mountains are before me? Ngolorachi nera likirira nge sozi zinyimi ridemu maso. I'll ask him to give me strength to climb them. I may not demolish them, but I'll climb them one by one slowly. They are there standing. I'll not tamper to remove them. I will climb on top of them that I climb up on top of the mountain. You raise me up. I can stand the mountain. Because Jesus raised me up from the very way I was that I may stand on the mountain. So whatever the situation before you, treasure it. There is a reward. After you climbing it, People will see you all over the world. Say, Lord Jesus, just give me the grace. Give me the ability to manage, to climb this mountain before me. Father, I climb this mountain. Prayer. Climb that mountain. If that mountain is sickness, if that mountain is poverty, if that mountain is any situation, climb it. Father, give me the grace. Give me the ability. Give me the power. Your power to climb up to the mountain, to the top. Prayer. In Jesus' holy name. Ask Jesus. Give me wisdom. Give me understanding. Give me ability to claim. This situation. So the love you are talking about, the prosperity you are talking about, prosperity means pro superiority. Pro prosperity. Hmm. Meaning pro super priority. You cannot succeed. Because we are too many. To succeed. I'm not teaching English, no. No, no, no. no. Hmm. Simply mean searching. The access. Searching the access. Success. Cheat against a searching for access. Because if we are doctors, we are too many. We want all to access the same patient. So how are you going to succeed? You need wisdom. 
in order to search the access and become number one. Hallelujah. Involve in your prayer always God's wisdom. Never pray without asking God's wisdom. On the menu, on your table, begin by asking Father Lord, in Jesus' name, Father of wisdom, Father of knowledge, Father of understanding, give me wisdom, give me knowledge, give me understanding, and the grace to live for you, in Jesus' name. Every day, God will work with you. He will work with you. May God bless his word. Hallelujah. Amen. How many have understood something? Okay. Praise Jesus. Yes, Yabazwe. My name is Nasuna Evelyn. Pitwana Suna Evelyn. What I've learned from the teaching of today changes of Bam Kusome Sokolo is that in this world, you have to be tested. Yes. And again, when Paul and Silas were put in jail, they were severely beaten. But they had love for their God. They didn't mind about the beatings. They put all their eyes to their God. They played. They sang immediately because God had love with them. He sent an earthquake to shook the jail. So what I have learned in whatever test, I have to put my minds, my thinking to God. God bless you, Lord. Love is sharing. Love is giving. Once you want to develop, say, I want to be blessed. Learn how to give. Learn how to share. If you are a wise man, you must share your wisdom with others. You must give that wisdom to others. That is how you be useful. And that is how you become popular. Others will be helped only when you and how you are sharing your testimony. Amen. Remember your wisdom. For God so loved the world, He gave. His best. So those who want to be popular. Look at the nature of God. Those who want to be blessed. Look at the nature of God. Love is simply giving.
Thank you for watching this video.